Uh, Filled application to enter a float in the parade for the first time. We have a uh, LGBT, pro LGBT president, especially coming from the Republican Party, and um, I thought he needed to be recognized for that. Uh, it, the Republican Party has come a long way with that. We were denied our entry because we were, it was going to be pro-Trump. We were called we were anti-LGBT, and, um, and that we didn't uh, align with the values of Charlotte Pride. We're going today to expose the hypocrisy, and. Um, definitely going to stand up for uh, our American rights, that we have a right to choose our leader freely without being persecuted. You know, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama both pandered to the gay community, lied to them, and changed, only changed their position just to, um, just to get the votes. Donald Trump went in day one, said the Supreme Court has ruled on uh, gay marriage, and it is the law of the land, and he has no intentions of changing that. I also support the transgender ban. Our, our nation's safety is never in a transition period, and neither should our soldiers be. I'm doing this also for the, the straight community because they've got a bad rap for decades saying that y'all are against us, and I know that you're not. That's the lies that the Democrat Party is telling everybody to keep them thinking they're victims because the Democrat Party cannot survive unless someone is a victim. It's time to end this crap and start working together and demand that these people up here start representing the diversity and uh, apologize that it claimed to, uh, to, to be working toward. I want to thank you all for coming and being a part of this. I've had so many people that told me that they, they'll be here in spirit. I believe them. We are going peacefully. This is going to be a non-confrontational event. Our mere presence up there is actually going to cause some people to say some things. We're not to engage. We're going to let the cameras show which side really represents the hate and which side truly is actually representing the equality. I am here to support him and his community. Um, just because of the political views that we do have, it don't give them the right not to have a float in a parade, and that's why we're here. We're standing up so our voice can be heard. <laughs> It absolutely is. Oh. It's just like a ducks and worm. Look at that. Middle fingers and everything. I'm out here because this parade denied me simply for voting for an American president that I could stand up here and choose my leader without persecution. And it takes 50 of them to out, out, out do this American voice. I will be here today, tomorrow, and next year. A lot of issues going on right now with the transgender rights. Some would say I support the transgender ban. Nice our nation's safety is not ever in a transition pe period, and neither should our soldiers be. He said that you're, uh, you're gay as well? I am a proud, openly gay man. I thank love you, it. Sir. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. That is yeah. Let's get these guys some wristbands. And make sure y'all get on this now. Don't cover it. Make sure y'all cover the real thing now. Let's go. That is, that is what I find. It's right here. They show what we actually marched in 1994 for. They, they, just, they just come and show what all these people should be doing. I know they don't have fun, but they're not willing to meet me. I mean, I told, I told Gregory Angelo and he laughed. <laughs> I'm going for him next. By the time we get a leader with some balls, he has never done anything for the lock Republicans Republicans except for a uh, show. He loves, to, he loves to show. He used my story on the webpage of the lock Cabin Republicans to uh, get people to donate money. He gave us not one penny. Not one penny. I plan to expose that fraud when I'm through here. And I'm not stopping at Democrats. I'm going after Republicans as well. Republicans have just as much the capability of being a traitor as what a Democrat does. I marched in this parade in 1994 when we got spit on and bottles thrown at us and told we were burning in hell. I marched, there was not a parade. I had a gun put in my purple so this parade could happen today. To get to now, to be told I can't be a part of it. Shame on you. Charlotte Pratt was the true bigot. They represent nothing that they claim to represent. You exclude your own. So what was it like marching in 1994? I was spit on. I had rocks thrown at me. Maybe 30 of us marched. 
to get to the day to be told I can't be a part of it. No, I will not. Yeah, well, you need to back your ass up. Ryan. Back yeah, well, I will not look. Back your ass up. I wish you would. Yeah, well, I wish you would. Back your ass up. I wish you would, lady. I thought we could cross the street back over to there and be over beside the judges' table. You want to? So th those are the ones that need to hear us. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, let's do it. Oh, All right. Charlotte Brown needs to read this message. Read the diversity that you claim to represent. You exclude your own, but you expect straight America to accept us. You're the true bigot. We're so proud of Davidson College. Welcome to Charlotte That's what we want, is because you go anywhere, you try to... Well, no, no change is actually going to happen if people totally just... We need to focus no on what we have in common, happen. work on that, forget or about the differences. even have differences and actually just talk. Yeah. Right? I mean, we can totally feel different about disagree. everything, but the fact that we actually are having conversations makes a difference in the world. Exactly. that's how change is going to come. It's exactly. real people, you know? 